Scientists have been tracking temperatures for 135 years now, and they report that 2014 was the hottest on record. What's to blame? The experts are nearly unanimous. We are. As one climate scientist put it, quote, any wisps of doubt that human activities are at fault are now gone with the wind. Vicente Arenas has the story. In Miami Beach, ocean water often floods downtown streets where sea levels are rising at an alarming rate. In South Florida, they're expected to rise five to seven inches in the next 30 years due to global warming. The city is installing massive flood pumps at a cost of $300 million to try to keep the water out. Eric Carpenter is the public works director. How concerned are you about the rising sea level? We're concerned from a perspective of we need to do something about it now. We can't wait. Scientists around the world share the urgency. Today's report says every ocean is warmer than ever before. The results are melting glaciers, threatening wildlife, and producing extreme weather, including stronger typhoons in Asia and the record drought in California. Scientists say the warming is caused by people. As we burn fossil fuels to run our cars, homes, and factories, greenhouse gases are trapped in the atmosphere and warm the Earth's surface. Last year, the Earth warmed 1.24 degrees above the 20th century average. The deep reds represent record warm. So these were the record highest temperatures ever observed. California. California. Dr. Tom Carl is the director of NOAA's Climatic Data Center in Asheville, North Carolina. It's very clear that the weather and climate that you've grown up with is not going to be the weather and climate you're going to experience or your children are going to experience. World leaders are scheduled to meet in Paris this November to discuss climate change. Their main goal will be to discuss ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Vicente Arenas, Miami.